Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program to print N first Fibonacci numbers using a recursion. In the previous video, we are already discussed about C program to find out the factorial of a given number using a recursion and C program to find out the GCD of two numbers using a recursion. If anybody wants these videos, please refer that videos in my YouTube channel. Now we can go for how to print the first n Fibonacci numbers using a recursion. Okay. First of all, what is a Fibonacci series? So here a Fibonacci series is I am taking first two Fibonacci numbers 0, 1. Next Fibonacci number we are getting by adding these two Fibonacci numbers. So 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1. Okay. Next Fibonacci number we have to find out by adding this result and the previous Fibonacci number. We are adding these two. 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. Next Fibonacci number we are getting by adding this number and the previous number. 1 plus 2 that is a 3. Next Fibonacci number we are getting this number and the previous number. 3 plus 2 is 5. Next Fibonacci number we are getting by adding this number and the previous number that is 8. Next one 5 plus 8 13. Next one 13 plus 8 that is 21. Next 13 plus 21 that is 34. Next 21 plus 34 that is 55. 34 plus 55 that is 89. In this way we are getting the Fibonacci series. So this is the Fibonacci series 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89. Okay. Now, how we are writing this program using a recursion? Okay. First, we have to write the header files hash include stdio.h so standard input output header file next header file is hash include conio.h next one we have to write the function prototype so int fib of it. So this is the function prototype. This function prototype tells to the compiler this is the function we are using in the program. It take only one parameter. That parameter data type is int. Okay. Next one void main. Every C program execution start with the main function. Okay. Now, what are the variables that we have to declare that we are declared in the declaration section of the main program? I am taking two variables int i comma n. Int i comma n. Next one, so CLR SCR. This is the clear screen function. This function is used for clear the output screen. This function is available in the header file called hash include conio.h so that we have to include this header file to our program. Next one. So printf enter n value. Enter n value. n is nothing but how many number of Fibonacci numbers we want to require in the Fibonacci series. Okay. 
that number can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function by using scanf function we have to read the n value okay next one printf first n fibonacci numbers that means first percentage d numbers in fibonacci series in fibonacci series so in the place of percentage d we are writing the variable n variable n okay now we have to print the fibonacci series so we are we have to use the for loop for i is equal to 0 i is nothing but loop variable i less than or equal to n i plus plus now print print percentage d slash t double quotes and comma here call fib of i is nothing but calling function okay next one get ch so get ch is a function this function available in hash include cbo nio dot h so that we have to include this header file to our program printf and scanf functions are available in hash include stdio.h so that we must include this header file to our program so this is the calling function for this calling function we have to write the call function okay so int fib of int x here x is a formal parameter okay if x is equal to is equal to 0 print return 1 next else if sorry return 0 next one else if x equal to equal to 1 return 1 else return else return fib of x minus 2 plus fib of x minus 1 okay now we have to close the called function okay so this is the program to print first n fibonacci numbers in fibonacci series using a recursion okay so here we have to write output also okay up to now we are already discussed it so print f enter n value okay so enter n value so n value is read from the keyboard so n value we are given is 7 for example 7 okay now print a first percentage d numbers in fibonacci series okay here in the place of percentage d we are substituting n value so first 7 n value 7 7 fibonacci numbers first seven numbers in fibonacci series fibonacci series okay we have to print it first for i is equal to 0 initially i is a loop variable i is equal to 0 0 less than or equal to n n value is 7 condition true if the condition is true, then the control goes to the body of the for loop. 
print of percentage d slash t fib of i here this is a calling function so function name is a fib parameter is i i is a actual parameter what is the value of i 0 fib of 0 okay whenever a function is calling in the main program so the control goes from calling function to called function here this is a called function okay called function int fib of int x where x is a formal parameter so the value of the actual parameter is copied into formal parameter okay so what is the value of i 0 so fib of 0 0 value is copied into x value now we are calculating fib of 0 okay brace begin if x is equal to is equal to 0 what is the value of x 0 0 equal to equal to 0 condition true then the control goes to the if block in the if block only one statement is there written 0 this value 0 is written from calling function called function to calling function calling function okay so this 0 value is printed so first 0 value is printed okay after that slash t we have some space here okay next i value is incremented now i value 1 so 1 less than or equal to 7 condition true the control goes to the body of the for loop print of percentage d slash t fib of i i value is 1 so this is the calling function the control goes to the called function so here i value is copied into formal parameter x now x value is 1 now fib of 1 we have to calculate brace begin if 1 equal to equal to 0 that is false then go to the else if block in the else if block 1 equal to equal to 1 condition true here x value 1 1 equal to equal to 1 condition true the control goes to the this block in this block only one statement is that written 1 so one value is written so one is a integer so that written type is int then this value is transferred from called function to calling function now what is the value of this one fib of 1 1 this one value is printed in the place of this one one is printed okay then after that slash t here slash t we are getting next one i value is incremented now i value is 2 2 less than or equal to 7 condition true the control goes to the body of the for loop print as percentage d slash t fib of 2 now i is i value is 2 actual parameter i value is 2 it is copied into formal parameter x so now x value is 2 the control goes from calling function to called function the value of i is copied into x now x value is 2 so fib of 2 is calculated so press begin if 2 equal to equal to 0 false then go to the else if 2 equal to equal to 1 that is false go to the else block so return fib of x minus 2 okay what is the value of uh, uh, x now it is 2 so now fib of 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 is 0 plus fib of 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 here x value 2 2 minus 2 is 0 2 minus 1 is 1 so fib of 0 plus fib of 1 fib of 0 value is 0 fib of 1 value is 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 okay so this entire uh, expression returns the value 1 so return 1 1 is one data type is integer so that we have to write the data type int before the called function name so this one is returned to the calling function this value is the one one is printed now one is printed after that slash t 
Okay, here we have to write slash t. Okay, now i value is incremented. Now i value is a 3, 3 less than or equal to 7. Condition true, the control goes to the body of the uh, for loop. So print a percentage d fib of 3. Here this is a calling function. i is an actual parameter. Its value is a 3. The control goes from calling function to called function. Here x is there. x is a formal parameter. The value of actual parameter is copied into formal parameter. Now fib of 3 is calculated. Okay. So brace begin if 3 equal to equal to 0. False. Then go to the else if. 3 equal to equal to 1. False. Then go to the else block. So here x value 3. Fib of 3 minus 2. That is 1 plus fib of 3 minus 1. That is 2. So what is fib of 1? 1. Plus what is fib of 2? That is 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay, fib of 0, fib of 1, fib of 2. Okay, now this entire expression returns value 3. 3 data type is int. So we have to write the data type int before the function name. Now this value is returned to the calling function. Now this value becomes the, uh, sorry, fib of 2 is 1, sorry, 1. So it is now 2. Okay, 2. So 2 data type is int. So that uh, before the function name, we have to write int. This 2 value is written to the calling function. So this entire value is 2. 2 is printed. So 2 is printed. After that, slash t. Now it is there. Okay. Now i value is incremented now a value is 4 4 less than or equal to 7 condition true the control goes to the body of the for loop printer percentage d slash t fib of 4 now actual parameter i i value is 4 the control goes from calling function to called function here the value of i is copied into formal parameter x now x value is 4 now fib of 4 is calculated Brace begin a 4 equal to equal to 0. False. Then go to the else if. 4 equal to equal to 1. False. Go to the else block. Return FIBA of x value 4. FIBA 4 minus 2. That is 2. Plus FIBA 4 minus 1. That is equal to 3. So FIBA of 0, FIBA of 1, FIBA of 2, FIBA of 3. FIBA of 2 value is 1. And FIBA of 3 value is 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay. So the data type of 3 is integer so that we have to write the function data type int before the function name and this value is transferred to the calling function. Now fib of uh, 4 value is uh, 3. The 3 value is printed here. After that slash t. Now we are getting this one. Next i value is incremented that is a 5. 5 less than or equal to 7. Condition true. Then the control goes to the body of the for loop. Printf percentage d slash t fib of 5. So i is a actual parameter. Fib of i is a calling function. The value of the actual parameter is copied into formal parameter. Whenever the control transferred from calling function to called function. Now x value becomes 5. x value becomes 5. So fib of 5 we have to calculate. So now go to the um, body of the called function. Yeah, 5 equal to equal to 0. False. And go to else if 5 equal to equal to 1. False. Then go to the else. This statement is executed. Fib x value is 5. 5 minus 2. 3 plus 5 minus 1. 4. So this is fib of 0, fib of 1, fib of 2, fib of 3, fib of 4. Fib of 4 value is 3 and fib of 3 value is 2. So 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5. So this value 5 is returned from called function to calling function. This value is fib of 5 is 5. That value is printed. 5 is printed. Okay. After that slash t. Then. Next i value is incremented. Now i value 6. 
6 less than or equal to 7, condition true, then the control goes to the body of the for loop. Fib of 6 is the calling function where i value 6, i is the actual parameter. The control goes from calling function to called function. The value of i is copied into formal parameter x. Now, Fib of 6 we have to calculate. Then the control goes to the body of the call function. If 6 equal to equal to 0, false. Go to the else if 6 equal to equal to 1. That is false. Go to the else. In the else block, only one statement is there. That is the fib of. So x value is a 6. 6 minus 2. That is 4. Plus 6 minus 1. That is a 5. So what is the value of fib of 5? That is 5. Plus what is the value of fib of 4? That is 3. So, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. 8 we have to write here. Okay. After that, percentage D. Okay. So, 8 value is written from the called function to called fun calling function. So, fib of 6 value is 8. That value is printed. After that, slash D. Okay. Next, I value is incremented. Now, I value is 7. 7 less than or equal to 7. Condition true. The control goes to the body of the for loop. Now, this statement is executed. Print of percentage D fib of 7. Okay. So, here this is a calling function and i is the actual parameter. Its value is 7. The control goes from calling function to called function. Here, the former parameter x, called function name is a fib. Okay. The value of i7 is copied into formal parameter x. Now, x contains the 7. Fib of 7, we have to calculate. Now, go to the body of the called function. If 7 equal to equal to 0, false. Then, control goes to this one. Else if 7 equal to equal to 1, that is false. Then, go to the else block. Else block contains one statement. So, here, Fib of 7 minus 2, that is 5, plus Fib of 7 minus 1, that is a 6. So, what is the Fib of 6 value? 8. Plus, what is the FIB of 5 value? 5. 5 plus 8, that is equal to 13. 13 is integer. Its data type is int. We have to write before the function name. Okay. Now, 13 value is written from the calling function to call, uh, called function to calling function. Now, FIB of 7 value is equal to 13. 13 value is printed. After that, slash t. Next, i value is incremented. Now, i value is 8. 8 less than or equal to 7. Condition false. The control goes to the next statement after the for loop. Here, get ch is there. So, this function is included in the header file called hash include conio.h so that we have to include hash include conio.h to our program. After that, program is closed. Okay. So, n value is 7, fib of 0 value 0, fib of 1 value 1, fib of 2 value is 1, fib of 3 value is 2, fib of 4 value is 3, fib of 5 value is 5, fib of 6 value is 8, fib of 7 value is 13. So, enter n value is 7 so that first 7 numbers in the Fibonacci series are printed. Okay. So, this is the simple program to print first n Fibonacci numbers using a recursion. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and please click on the bell button to get future updates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, Divela Srinivas Rao. So, in the previous video, we are discussed about uh, what is the recursion, what are the advantages and disadvantages of recursion, what are the applications of recursion uh, with one example, two example programs. Please refer that video for better understanding of recursion. So, thank you.